What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Spider-Man No Way Home, the three Spider-Men together. Okay, so I did my best to kind of like fit them in. So it's like Tom Holland in the middle, Andrew Garfield over here, and Tobey Maguire on this side, right? So we can see all of Tom Holland's shoulders. Um, not all of these guys, because they're in behind, okay? So... Um, probably long drawing, lots of webbing and stuff like that. So let's go. So I'm going to start with Tom Holland, Holland in the middle. Tom Holland, Holland, Tom Holland. <laughs> I can't talk. I've been doing this so long and I still can't talk. It's terrible. Okay. So I'm going to start right. Well, I'll map out kind of like where the top of his head is, right? So, so the top of his head is like up here. Okay. And his chin. So like we'll go here. Right, so that's kind of the the size we're talking about, right? I'll start with the eyes. So just in between, so chin here, top of his head here. The eyes will start like kind of a little bit below halfway between these two lines. So I'd say halfway is about there, right? And we're just gonna start his eye a little tiny bit lower because I think his head is tilted forward. So normally your eyes are halfway between the top of your head and your chin. But because his head is like so, you know, he's like leaning forward. It's kind of like an action shot. So we'll start a little bit lower than halfway. I'm going to start like here for his eyes. And this curves this way. And then it kind of spikes up here. Right. And then this is going to come down. Around here, right. Very particular kind of shape now. It goes up into the corner here. All right, like that. And in there we have the white of his eye. So it goes there. And then we bring it around. And we're kind of like tracing the outside shape again and trying to keep this line sort of the same width. So this gap here where the black would be. Trying to keep that the same sort of width. Now, so he does have like lenses and stuff. So like an extra sort of line here, maybe and coming down here and then something maybe coming around from the corner. So we'll just go around and up into here. And I won't make it too complicated. Like I know there's loads of lines and stuff, but maybe one more. Just one more here. Right from there. Yeah, because this eye can like get smaller and bigger and stuff like that. So you could add more lines to that if you wanted, but I'll just try and keep it as simple as I can. So then the other eye, and this is why I like doing the eyes first, because you can kind of it's like a mirror image. So you get these symmetrical things going on that you can add to. Right. So you're just kind of copying the other side. See? You need like a little gap in between and then this goes up and then curve it around again trying to keep them similar in shape and size like that and then this white of his eye here Like so, and then we'll bring it around. Just going around, tracing that outside edge, trying to keep this gap, this line sort of a similar width around. It doesn't have to be exact, you know, because you're drawing, you're only human. And then we'll add some lines coming down here for the lens parts, right? So I'll just go from the corner and then go down. around kind of there and then you do it again with the middle and then just come around here and again you can add more to that if you'd like now so now that we have the eyes see this is why i like because we have the width say like if you did the head first and then you drew one eye and it was too big and it didn't fit inside the head do you know what i mean because now we have our middle line and then 
you know, if you did that eye too big and you had the head already drawn, you have to like rub out the side of the head, make the head bigger, all this kind of stuff, right? So now what we can do is just draw around these eyes, okay? So we can go this way with our jaw first, right? So it goes like diagonal, like so. Now I know if you're pencil sketching and stuff, you could do a circle and all that kind of stuff. Feel free to do that, by the way. You know, you could use my tutorial for just the detail parts. If you're really good at sketching, sketch out, you know, shoulders, whatever you want first, like in the norm, if you're like super advanced. And then you could use this for details. I mean, that's totally acceptable. Use these tutorials whatever way you want. Right, so that's our jaw, right? So the head will come down then to meet the, the side of the jaw. By the way, I know I talk too much sometimes. Um, <laughs> it's a personality flaw. And then this comes down. I can't talk properly, but I talk too much. So we go down the other side. Okay. We'll try keep it similar to the other side. Keep it, keep it symmetric. Do, 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 not that. Come on. Right there. Okay. And then we're going to add all the webbing, right? So inside here, so we've got like this shape first. Like that. And the, like a web comes out of each one of those points. And same thing sort of here. Tom Holland's webbing is kind of like recessed into his suit. And then the other two guys like raises up off. Now I, I'm just using a sharpie. So, you know these guys are silver. So if you're using a pencil, you know you can color them silver. But I gotta do black. So let's go. Anyway, let's just motor on with the webbing. So like the webbing is always the slowest and like right webbing like that. There. Coming out of the corner of his eye. Another one here. And then in the middle of his face. So either side of his mouth. Douche. And then here. There. And a couple coming down from his eyes, so like there. There's another one here, like so. And then one, and one, yeah, there, there. And then we have all the cross webbing. So there's not much I can say about this part. You just sort of do these bumpy lines, curving. Tom Holland's are real curvy. The other two guys are kind of a bit straighter. Toby Maguire's is kind of curvy. But um, the amazing Spider-Mans are quite straight. There. I haven't seen this movie yet, believe it or not. Um, I haven't had a chance. Good reviews, though. Spider Man's always good. And then this way. This way. I don't think we can see any more on top of his head. It just goes down there. And then there's another one there. Here. That's it. There. Right, so we'll just get his anatomy in now. So 
neck. Right, he's got like a wide trapezius, so neck like there, neck on the other side. He's kind of, his body is like slightly turned. Right, so this neck line is shorter because it becomes his trapezius just here. Okay, kind of like that. And then his trapezius on the other side goes across here, like so, okay. And then shoulders, so you're he usually head width out for where his shoulder would be, right? So shoulder will come down. A good rule of thumb is head width. So the shoulder kind of, the head just here, see? And then the shoulder will go down that direction. And then we have like a tricep just coming out here and down. All right, and then on the other side, we go out for his other shoulder down this way. Again, sort of just face width, more or less. And we are in three-quarter pose, so it's slightly different on both sides. Just a little bit. His body is a little bit turned that way. So like the center spider web line will like curve down this way. I'll show you that now. That's a body like that. So we'll do, we'll get his crest in just so we know where everything is, right? So the center line just about here. So we're not, the, the crest isn't like right underneath his chin, see? I might as well, I'll draw that center line. So it goes this way. Okay, and then comes down underneath here, right? So that's like the center line for his chest, right? So then our spider, that's the center webbing line as well, so that's why I can draw it in. So our spider's there, and his body, like this side, down, in, up, like so, right? And then his legs, so coming around, they're kind of, you just go down, real angled, like so down to here, and then down, and the right, down. And if you're looking to draw just like Tom Holland Spider-Man, this is probably just a good way of doing it. You can stop after I finish him. Longer legs then on this side. And then down here. I might just thicken these up a little bit because they're quite thick in the image. That, and I think I might uh, color in this black. He has black lines on his shoulders as well, right? So his costume is a little bit different to the other guys. We've got the blue section and then like his armpit and stuff and his bicep. So let's say coming up from about here, right? So we'll go. Yeah, we'll go curve it this way, like so. Right, and this will go down towards his shoulder, just down to here, right? And then we have like his armpit and his like bicep sort of line here. So bicep comes around there, right? And then we have some black lines just inside here, texture on his costume. And then, so the blue line then, blue six, so blue in here, red in here. And then we have a black section coming out from here, so like so, and then goes up 
around this. Like so, and then back down. And this kind of disappears into here. Right, and then our black section is up. Right. And we kind of bring it around up to here. It's a very particular kind of shape now, so down to there. Right, so that's like all black inside there. And then the black section on the other side. So again, slightly different on both sides. So his body's turned away on this side. So what we can see of this dark black section. So let's say curves there. So that's like his chest. And then it'll go down like that. And then, so the bottom of it will go down towards his shoulder here. And then the top side, like, goes out like so. Down to there. And then this goes down by his chest, back out. down to there and then we can see like his ribs or something like his side of his body there and that blue line the separation between blue and red here can't really see any other lines or anything here there's like a line that comes down from the corner here there and down to here right so that's all your main parts. Now, webbing, right? So we have our center line, right? And then we'll do one that comes down. This one doesn't go up to his chin, the middle one, for some reason. That's just different to the... This one doesn't go up to his chin for some reason. It's just different to the others. It stops sort of in the middle of his chest. So this one comes down like so. One on the other side of it. This curves down around to there. And then this one. So we have a wider gap here, right? Because there's another one that stops just here. So it doesn't go up to his neck. Right? So one, two, and I think there's a, yeah, there's one over here as well that stops. Just there. Right. So these two just these three. I think there's no, I think that's that's all that stuff. The rest go up to his neck. So let's go there, and then another one kind of here, like that. And then one coming down his neck here, down his shoulder there one more over here yeah maybe oh you can barely see it it's like on the edge the shoulder drawn in goes up to his shoulder and then down here like so right so now we got to do all the cross webbing so you know i'll just fly along at this um, not much to say you just do layers and layers right and they're kind of they're far apart down here right so from here in the corner and then so the gap see quite wide on this one so comes down underneath there's none coming across our Little spider on his chest there. And there's one just on his shoulder here. Right? So that's Tom Holland, Spider-Man. Okay? So if you want to stop the tutorial there and you just want to draw him, that's totally cool. Um 
I'm going to go over here now and we're going to do Toby on this side, right? So uh, let's just change our pictures. Right, so his so his head, we're go he's behind, behind, right? And the head is slightly smaller on this. So I'm going to put his chin like here, okay? Higher than Tom Holland's and his head, top of his head, just there, right? So that's our height. So we're smaller, just a little bit smaller, just to fit it in behind, right? And then we'll do his eyes. So his eyes are slightly easier. So we kind of like these little spiky sort of things. So we'll start. So we start just here, just about half. You're about halfway down on this one. His head is more straightforward. So here to here is about the same as here to here. His head is tilted forward a little bit. So we'll curve, so we'll do a real curvy sort of line up to there, right? And then it's going to spike here. Come down to about there, and it changes direction again real sharply. So it goes like that. So not round eyes. Okay. So then our eye comes up this way. Down to there. And then back up. Okay, so that's that's his eyes, pretty much. And then across from there we go up. Now these are silver and sort of shiny and stuff. We want it to go about the same height. And then it goes down. Like so, and then we change its direction and it goes into here. And then we have the inside. Like that. And then it comes down again. Like so. Alright, so then it's head. So we do the same thing again. So we'll go jaw. There, same on this side, jaw. Right, like so. And his head slightly wider, I think. So we'll go. Trying to keep it the same. Like this, and then down. Just don't like the thickness of that line. I just right. So then, so all of his webs like raised up off the red fabric, right? So it's different to sort of his, right? And they're silver. So I'll have to draw it in black. But if you're doing a pencil, you'll be able to color them in sort of silver, okay? And they're kind of joint, like they're it's like they're metal and kind of welded together here in the middle, right? So we got like one coming up here, one coming up here. And then another one here, another one here. So we four there and four on his face, interestingly. But this this is like a silver sort of star sort of thing. Here. So another one there. 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 And they're joined. So we've got like this thing is all silver inside here. Then we'll just go up this way, this way, and then another one up there, up here, and then four coming down this way. Like so. Yeah. 
Right, so one, two, three, four, and then some more on his face. So goes down this way. Two, Fourth one there. 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 Right. So now he has a lot of webbing compared to Tom Holland, right? So it's you just gotta do it. There's just way more layers of it, right? So just go. Kind of like more, well, it's similar, but just tighter. Right, so that's like the first circle, and then you do more and more and more and more. So I'll probably just speed through this now. See now lots more webbing compared and they are colored silver but I, I want to do it in black. Kind of like the tutorial I did for the gold, black and gold Spider-Man suit. Okay, and then his neck. So he's, he's more sort of straightforward. So it comes down here, down there. And then his trapezius will go in behind Tom Holland. And this trapezius will kind of go out this way and go off my page. Okay. A few more room you could like fit in his shoulder. Kind of like this. Same sort of thing. Just go down. And your head width. See, but my head will bring me off the page. So that's where his shoulder would be out here but I just can't fit it in. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, right, so we can't really see any of his spider thing. Maybe we could see like a couple of legs, just like these spiking legs here, and they're silver, so. Right, so that's like all we can see of his um, crest. So then, vertical, lines first now again way more than tom holland so it's down to about there and he has the separation of blue and red again so it comes down that way and then comes down his arm goes off the page and his body kind of like here his bicep will kind of go that way. He might have a chest line or an armpit line. Just there. And then, so keep going. This one will do. Same one there. Like so. And then go this side, this side. Bum, 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 bum. Right, with that, and then we gotta do all the cross ones, and they're they're way tighter, way closer together. So I'll just motor and just go. get a little bit wider apart down here as we go down. 
these ones are kind of spaced out a little bit more as we go down his body. So where's the next one? Some legs there. Let's see here. The shoulders there, and then let me say here. Boom. Okay, so that's Toby. Let's go over and do Andrew Garfield. So, what's his name, right? It is Andrew Garfield. Yeah, I'm missing. It's Andrew, isn't it? Okay, so same thing again, right? So smaller head, right? So we do, we do his chin, sort of there on the top of his head. Up here, we're kind of in line with Toby's. So smaller head, right? These guys' heads are about the same height, you know. Right, like there. And then we do his eyes. So real big eyes on this. Spider-Man. So starting, starting here. Let's say so we're lower. I'd say we're lower than halfway. No, close enough. A bit lower. So halfway is probably here. And we're, so we're like Tom Holland. We're a little bit lower than halfway. So now. Really big, kind of kind of like bumpy, kind of kind of curves in this way a little bit, you know, like so, and then we bring it down around here. It's much curvier. And up to there, right? So we're just black and in the inside. And then his inside line, so it goes up here and goes back down. It kind of gets a little bit skinnier around the outside here. Right down here, and then bring it up into here. And I'm just going to color these black because they're just black. So. I didn't color Tom's because they're kind of like, well, they are black, but they, they're kind of like shaded. You know, these things have shadows underneath them. So that's why I didn't, his lenses. Right, so kind of like that. Okay, we go over and we do the other eye. So similar sort of thing. Start maybe, let's say, one, two, three, and then we bring it up to like here. Like so, after smudging some ink there, oops. So then, Similar to that side, and then we go around down underneath, down on the up into there. And we do sort of same thing on this side. White eye, quite big. Goes down around the outside. Here and color this black. Ew. Okay, not bad. I think his are actually the trickiest to draw, which is strange. But is that just me? Right, so let's do jaw. So we go up the side of his face. 
And then on this side, we can open side of the space as well. Like some of them would, would come down around his eyes. So the, his eyes are like real close to the edge of his head, right? They actually nearly touch it. He's down this way. Right, and then on this side. Trying to keep it sort of symmetrical. Going around his eyes. This is why I like drawing the eyes first, especially on Spider-Man when the eye, like say if we drew the head first and then we did the eyes just like too big on the inside, you'd be going over the edge. So it comes down there. Right, so then his webbing on the inside of his face. So he's got more webbing again than Tom Holland. Not, not that much, but a little bit more. And his are joined in the inside by this shape. Uh, like a little line there and then this curves around there and that's how his start and then we have one go up the middle like that and then one two three four more so one there one on the other side Two more, so another one, say here, another one there. Man, um, and then down here, so we'll go down like so, down like so, and then another one down beside his face here, down beside his eyes, should I say, down here. And then one coming down his cheek. And there should be another one coming down his cheek somewhere here. Um, maybe one on the side of his head. One going up his head. One coming from the top of his eye that way. Here. And then we're going to do the cross ones, all the ones are crossed, right? And again, there's more. Two, three, four, like that. One, two, three, there's three on this one. Right, and then more. Coming around his head. The real question is, which costume do you like the best? I think actually Tom Holland's one is probably the slickest looking. I remember when Tobey Maguire Spider-Man came out, I saw it in the cinema. It was really good at the time. I wonder if it aged well. Like that. Right, so then what we can see of his neck and shoulder. So, comes down this way. And we'll just go off my page. Kind of down here. All right, go off that way. And then his neck at the front. Comes down here. Right, and then his trapezius will go in behind, like so. So, right, so then, can't see any of his crest. Can we see some of the blue separation? Yeah, we can, coming out from here, right? And then, so diagonal, and then the chest line goes up this way somewhere. Let's say up to about there. And then his shoulder. Off that way. 
and then we got like his arm here on the side of his body there right near the like armpit like ribs and stuff just there you can't see any of his crest right but we can see the center line right and his body's kind of turned as well so the center line comes from just here right, so it's going like down that way and he's got a couple of shorter spider um, spider web lines so we'll do these ones right and then the short one there kind of like tom holland so there's like a short one here as well and a long one there and then so he only has two isn't it yeah it's just two short ones so they don't go all the way up to his neck there that's the main thing to remember This is like the best part of drawing Spider-Man. <laughs> it's not painful or boring or anything like that. Why would you say that, Reese? <laughs> Don't be so mean about Spider-Man and webs. They're so much fun to draw. So his webbing is kind of like square. There's not a lot of curve in it. Like not a lot of bend like this. On his body anyway. So, like, what I mean is, like, it's just like, it goes around kind of straight like this. Like that, another one comes out from the middle of his chin. Right, so it's kind of, there should be maybe another one here. Right, so it kind of just wraps around not majorly curvy is that is no one more boom okay that's it i hope it was helpful hope it wasn't too complicated or too long or too boring but maybe it was all of those things who knows <laughs> Um, that's how to draw the three Spider-Men. I'm just thickening up some of these lines from Spider-Man No Way Home. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.